In this video, we will demonstrate how to commission a Phi battery in a DC coupled system setup. To start, all the battery's built in breakers should still be in the off position, and the battery system's main DC disconnect should also still be off. You'll notice these batteries have been wired according to our paralleling batteries video that you can find on the Simplify YouTube channel. Make sure to watch those videos before moving on to this commissioning video. Make sure that all your loads are turned off. You can achieve this by turning off the AC output of your inverter. To start, the charge controller output breaker and grid slash AC input breaker should be in the off position. In this video, we will charge the batteries for the first time using grid input. But if you have sufficient sunlight, you can also use the charge controller's output instead. Prior to commissioning any system and applying loads, batteries must be fully charged. Not doing so will void your warranty. Our first step is to turn on the individual built-in breakers in each of the five batteries. Now, turn on the DC disconnect in the inverter's power panel. This will supply power to the inverter. Depending on what specific inverter you're using, the inverter might automatically go into standby mode once it's powered, or you might need to turn the inverter on to access its menu at all. If you can, keep the inverter in standby mode for programming. Program the inverter according to the Simplify Integration Guide. Integration guides for all equipment compatible with our batteries is posted on our website. These settings must be reprogrammed so that we don't charge the five batteries to the inverter's default settings. To charge the batteries from an AC power source, such as the grid or a generator, turn on the inverter's AC input. Then turn on the inverter itself. Once the inverter is on, it should automatically start charging the batteries from a connected AC power source. There could be some operational differences according to what inverter you are using or what state it might be in when you commission the batteries. You might need to program an additional setting in order to enable the inverter or to force charge the batteries. The important takeaway here is to charge the batteries fully when you first commission them before connecting any loads. The amount of time it will take to charge the batteries will vary depending on how large or small your battery bank is relative to your inverter's charger. Once the batteries have been charged fully, you can connect the loads. Five batteries that are rated at 51.2 volts DC nominal will charge up to 54.4 volts and then rest at about 53.3 volts at 100% state of charge. Of course, for the solar PV segment of your system to be operational, follow all steps and precautions relevant to the solar PV. Then turn on the charge controller breaker.